الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين والحمد لله رب العالمين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته I pray inshallah everyone is doing well we're all staying safe and healthy and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us and our children and our families and remove this pandemic off of us inshallah ameen ya rab uh, there is a hadith where rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam says and this is in bukhari and muslim uh rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam qala man kana yu'minu billahi wal yawm al akhir falyaqul khayran aw liyasmut so rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam says that uh the one who believes in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the day of judgment. Let him speak goodness. Let him speak goodness or remain silent. Uh, and this is a very important hadith. Subhanallah that we've kind of uh, fell astray from. You know, subhanallah, the, the time of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa uh, the Sahaba, the companions, radiyallahu anhum, uh, they would either speak khair, like the hadith mentions, uh, either speak khair or be silent. But subhanAllah, we have fallen very, very far from this hadith. And subhanAllah, the uh, medical doctors and some psychologists and some doctors who study human behavior, they actually say that uh, the person who speaks a lot and subhanAllah, so the hadith, when it says, فَلْيَقُلْ خَيْرًا أَوْ لِيَصْمُدْ So it, doesn't, it means talking for no reason, speaking for no reason. Not, not, subhanAllah, someone's asking you a question and you're silent. This is not what the hadith means. But it's talking about just talking foolishly. Like there's no purpose or benefit for your uh, speech. You're just talking just to talk. And what doctors that study human behavior, they believe that, People who tend to talk a lot uh, and their words have no value, these are actually people deemed by society to be weak people. The people that are always talking, the, 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 the person that's the, the loudest person in the room, uh, even subhanAllah medically, some doctors believe like this is a sign of weakness when a person's always talking. And subhanAllah, being silent at the right times. Not always being silent, but being silent at the right times is actually a sign of strength. It's actually a sign of power. So, when what's a good example for both things? So, of course, if you see someone being oppressed, or you see someone being bullied, or something like this, of course, our faith instructs us to stand up and use our, our speech and, and defend this person. But subhanAllah, another example... Uh, when it's it's good and healthy to say to stay silent to remain silent is subhanallah when you're in a situation and you know that you interjecting or you interfering or you opening your mouth and saying something it's not going to solve the issue at hand you speaking against a problem it's not going to solve this issue rather it actually only just spark uh, and make the situation worse. So this is a good example of when we should stay silent. And it's very simple, subhanAllah. If you have something good to say, say it. Otherwise, just, just stay silent. But subhanAllah, we've become into some of... SubhanAllah, it's sad because our nation has become of that which people actually tend to hide good qualities and good things and only spread badness and corruption amongst one another. And subhanAllah, how opposite it is from the hadith. مَنْ كَانَ يُؤْمِنُ بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ فَلْيَقُلْ خَيْرًا أَوْ لِيَصْمُدْ Whoever believes in Allah, let him speak goodness, otherwise remain silent. We have to train ourselves to get into the habit of thinking before we speak. Thinking before we speak. 
before we speak, we have to have these mental conversations with ourselves. What I'm about to say, does it have any benefit? Will it bring upon any benefit to the crowd I'm, I'm, I'm talking to or I'm with or I'm surrounded with? Or is it just false talk? Or will it bring up upon corruption and evilness and, and, and just badness, generally speaking? We have to have these mental conversations with ourselves before we speak. And uh, we should get into the habit of speaking less. Speaking less, listening more. This is subhanAllah why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us two ears and one mouth. SubhanAllah, the hikmah behind this, as some scholars say, is so that we can listen more than we speak. But unfortunately, we speak much, much more than we listen. And this is a, it's not the best quality uh, of a Muslim, of a Muslim with good faith. And SubhanAllah, a really important point I would like to get across, SubhanAllah, when a person has that self-discipline, that he or she can remain silent in difficult situations, it's a sign that this person has mastered self-control. When a person is able to remain silent, even though he or she would like to speak, but uh, for the betterment and for the peace of the community, of the jama'ah, of the congregation, he remains silent or she remains silent, this is a major sign of self-control. And the other person who is not able to control himself. He wants to speak and he just does whatever he feels like doing. There's no self-control. Uh, there, no, he can't remain silent. This is a sign of a lack of self-control. And all of us should be able to control our own actions. The thing is, us as human beings, I can never control what you do. You can never control what I do. But Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given each and every single one of us the individual power to control our own actions. So we should be able to control our temperament, our anger. This is something, this power is in our own hands. So we should take advantage of it and speak good like the hadith says. Speak good, spread goodness, spread khay, or remain silent. SubhanAllah, the words by themselves, brothers and sisters, they have, they carry so much power. SubhanAllah, if you just smile to your brother and you say, MashaAllah, it was good seeing you today, brother. Wallahi, when I see you, uh, you know, SubhanAllah, you have nur coming from your face and I, I'm happy when I meet you. SubhanAllah, maybe this brother or sister had a bad day and just by you saying kind words, kind words, it just changed his day completely. And now he's leaving the masjid, SubhanAllah, and there is happiness, happiness illuminating from his heart. Because of your words, he has happiness and tranquility uh, emanating from his heart. And this is a huge, huge reward that you will gain in your account, inshaAllah. SubhanAllah, just by being kind, just by spreading goodness. SubhanAllah, stop, we have to stop spreading negativity. And there are some people, SubhanAllah, the only thing they know how to do is just spread negativity. The SubhanAllah, only spread negativity. They always complain, Whenever you meet certain people, they always they're always complaining and always just like bringing, always just poking, like uh, always just talking about bad things. Like, like they look at a situation, they only see like the cons of it. They never see, they look at the ha the glass half uh, half empty rather than looking at the glass half full, as the famous uh, same saying goes. But Subhanallah, to control our speech, our speech in our tongues and our temperament, it's a uh, it's a very important uh, aspect in developing our, our spiritual development to spiritually increase and become spiritually better on a daily basis. Controlling our speech is very, very crucial to this uh, improvement. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it easy for us. Brothers and sisters, it's very simple. Spread goodness. If you have nothing good to say, brother, stay silent. And this is something, it's with, with tadrib, it would, it, you have to practice. We have to practice this. Spread goodness. Uh, you don't want, none of us would like for brother, for people to come to us and, you know, 
just talk foolishness and, 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 and things that we don't really want to hear. So treat others like Rasulullah sallallahu says, treat others the way you would like to be treated. So speak good inshallah. And if you have nothing good to say, nothing positive to say, that will, you know, uh, it will bring up, it will bring upon a positive effect on someone's day, their mood and their character. Just keep it to yourself. Remain silent. And subhanAllah, speaking good has its own reward. And remaining silent when you want to speak, there is still reward in that too. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us of those who, when we speak, we speak goodness, otherwise we remain silent. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it easy for us. Brothers and sisters, we uh, don't forget to make dua for our brother Mahir. He's still in the hospital. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give him shifa. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to heal him. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow him to return to his family, his wife and his children safely, inshallah. And if you would like to donate, uh, um, there has been a GoFundMe account created for him and his family. So uh, inshallah, you can, if you, would, if you wish to, you can inshallah donate on GoFundMe.com. And just type in Mahir Kanan, inshallah, and you can donate. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our sadaqah. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us and gather us in His paradise, inshallah. Allahumma rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adhab al nar. Allahumma inna nas'aluka al jannat wa fil dos. Wa na'udhu bika min al nar. Allahumma shfi mardana. Allahumma shfi mardana. Allahumma shfi akhuna mahir. Allahumma shfi akhuna mahir. وارحم موتانا برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين وصل اللهم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين والحمد لله رب العالمين يا الله سبحانه وتعالى أكسبتم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته